If you're buying a budget laptop, a discrete GPU probably isn't in your plan. But that doesn't mean you should settle for any CPU with an integrated GPU. And while the integrated graphics in AMD's CPU and Intel's CPU are based on technology from more powerful discrete GPU products, that means you might not even need a separate video card. So which processor should you get if you don't want to spend on a discrete graphics card, but still want to play some games? While talking about integrated graphics, you have to talk about Intel Iris Xe, Intel UHD, and AMD Radeon. So which processors have them? A while back, Intel introduced the Iris Xe integrated GPU on some 11th generation Intel Core mobile processors. Since then, it has appeared across the laptop processor line in the 12th and 13th generation Intel Core chips. You should also note that not all 11th, 12th, and 13th generation Intel Core chips have Iris Xe integrated GPUs, even if they're mobile processors. This significant variation in Iris Xe equipped CPUs means that Intel also adjusted the capability of the GPU inside. It did so by changing the number of execution units to ensure the processor consumes power within its allotted budget. The most powerful processors, usually the Core on 9 and i7 chips, use 96 execution units, while Intel's mid-range variants only have 80. And for low-powered CPUs, Intel further lowered the execution units to 64 and 48. As for the 14th generation of chips, things are a little different. And this is because this processor generation does not strictly use the Iris Xe branding for CPUs with integrated graphics. Instead, Intel's 14th generation chips do have Intel UHD graphics that feature Iris Xe architecture, even though they aren't strictly Iris Xe branded. On the other hand, AMD's latest chips feature two different integrated GPU generations, mainly RDNA 2 and RDNA 3. That said, the 7000 series AMD desktop CPUs all use AMD Radeon graphics, which has two cores clocked at 2.2 GHz. As for the other processors, AMD uses six different AMD Radeon integrated graphics chips, which include AMD Radeon 610M, 660M, 680M, 740M, 760M, and finally 780M. This table shows the AMD CPUs with their respective integrated GPUs. Now let's look at the Intel Iris Xe and AMD Radeon specifications. Given that there are numerous integrated GPUs, we'll only compare the two most powerful from each maker. So, let's compare the Intel Iris Xe with 96 execution units, the Iris Xe with 80 execution units, the AMD Radeon 760M, and the AMD Radeon 780M. Based on the numbers in this table, it looks like AMD has an advantage over Intel. Now, how does the Intel Iris Xe versus the AMD Radeon compare in gaming benchmarks? When it comes to gaming, because these are all laptop chips, finding a laptop with the exact specifications except for the integrated GPU is nearly impossible. So to help even the playing field as much as possible, we will only go with the best results from each test run. And these results are courtesy of notebookcheck.net. As you can see, many games are playable on all three integrated GPUs except Cyberpunk 2077, which had a terrible below 30 FPS average on both Intel Iris Xe's. Just note that the games are set to minimum quality and the lowest possible resolution to give the hardware the best chance at running them. So how will the integrated GPU affect your processor choice? Well, if you're a hardcore gamer, you need a gaming laptop or a desktop computer with a dedicated graphics card. But if you still want to game occasionally but are unwilling to shell out extra for a GPU, then you should look at the CPUs or APUs we discussed in this video. Of course, most laptop buyers have to stick to a budget, so we suggest you pick three to five laptop options that fit within that budget. From there, look at the fine print of their specifications and check out what kind of integrated GPU they sport. Once you have that information, you can pick the best CPU that will meet your needs. And of course, you can always check the video description for some of my laptop recommendations. Finally, what is the better CPU or GPU package? Well, according to the results above, the best CPU or GPU package is the AMD Radeon 780M equipped with the Ryzen 9 8945HS and Ryzen 7 8845HS. If that's unavailable, 
go for the Ryzen 5 8645 HS with a 760M integrated GPU. You can also go for the Ryzen 7 8700G if you have a desktop build instead. With these APUs, you can play some titles even without a dedicated GPU as long as you're willing to deal with low quality visuals. However, while AMD integrated GPUs deliver excellent performance, especially for older games, they still can't deliver the power required to appreciate the advancements in in-game graphics. While it's good to have a powerful APU as the beating heart of your PC, you still cannot forego getting a dedicated GPU to play the latest titles. That said, if you found this video informative, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech content. While you are still here, check out one of these videos.